Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be creating our own multi boot Windows uh, Rescue CD with all our MS Dart 32 bit and 64 bit versions from XP right up to Windows 10. Now, before you ask me for the ISO images, you're going to need to make sure that you've got some sort of subscription with uh, TechNet so you can then get access to this, okay? And you can create your own ISOs. I do not uh, give you the ISOs, you'll have to go to TechNet to get those. But anyway, let's get started. Now, if you are a PC repair tech, this is really useful and really helpful if you're dealing with Windows on a daily basis, which obviously you are because you're in the PC repair industry. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a 32 gig hard drive here, or USB flash drive, I should say. And uh, basically it's here. We're gonna format this in a second. And uh, once we've done this, we're gonna be using this tool to do it. And I've got all my ISOs ready. And uh, what we're going to do is fire this up. And once we've got this fired up, this is our Win setup from USB 1.6. This supports Windows 10. And uh, what we're going to do here is first off, we're going to open up RM Prep USB from here. And we're just going to prepare our USB flash drive. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use FAT32 for this one, I think, and uh, use this one here, WinPE version 2, version 3, and so on. Uh, boot as hard drive, we're going to leave that ticked. And uh, what we're going to do next is prepare. And this will then start to prepare the USB flash drive. Click OK. And this will now start to prepare the drive. Ready. Okay, next we need to install Grub for DOS. So we're going to do this, say yes here, click OK, and click Enter. You can pause the video at any time if it's going too fast for you. Uh, but once we've got this done, we're pretty much finished with um, our in prep USB. So what we need to do now is go to our Windows Vista 7, 8. I'm going to click on this and we're going to select our first um, ISO. So what we're going to do first is let me see Vista. So we've got this one, Vista 32 bit. That's the one I'm going to go for first. I'll do the XP one afterwards. Doesn't really matter. And click go. And this will start to put this onto our pen drive. And you can see here now it's asking us to name it. I'm going to leave it as is. So as you can see, that's crop copying that across now. And you can see the uh, the data going across here. Job done. So we can click OK here. I'm going to do the the actual 64 bit now. And uh, once I've done that, I'll do the XP version. So I'm not going to bore you with the whole process of doing every single one of these. I'll do this and do the XP one, and then I'll come back when I've got them all on there. So we'll just let this one go on as well. This is the 64-bit version. So that's the job done. So we'll just quickly do XP here. And I'm going to come down to my mounted drive that I've got here. It's a virtual mounted drive. Click OK. And we're going to hit go. And let that copy that across. So all we need to do now is once this copied across is to add in our graphic image, which I think will look set this off and look good. So to do that, we need to go into boot ice here. And as you can see, it's done that. So we need to go into boot ice here. And once we're in there, go utilities and start menu editor. And point towards our menu, as you can see here. And you can see at the top, it's giving us a, a color system, which is pretty bland. And I'll show you what that means. It's basically just going to be a list of uh, text. So I'll just quickly show you this first before we continue. 
So I can test this by hitting uh, the test here. So we'll just test it to see what it looks like. And as you can see here, we have quite a few uh, different types. You can see a list of this stuff here. So what I'm going to do is come out of this now and I want to change that. So what I want to do is go into uh, the actual boot ice and change that to our graphic image. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to copy this uh, file across here to my flash drive just there and uh, I can right click and uh, copy this name if I want to and then we're going to open up the program once more Now I've already created my uh, image so you will need to create that and I will make a video on creating these images. Uh, there's also other people on YouTube that have done these as well. So I'm going to go into Boot Ice and uh, from there I'm going to Utilities, Start Menu Editor and open up our menu. Now you can see this area here, this is just the plain colour but what we want to do is just add in here GFX menu space forward slash and I can put this in here save this close it off and close this off okay so I'm just going to quickly test this out in RM prep USB it's got my drive here click OK here and that will do I'm not sure what that is there it's okay Got two of these running here. So just let this uh, run. And remember, this is just a test, guys. So, and as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. So you've got your Windows XP 2000, 2003 setup. You can change the titles for these as well to MS Dart. You can also see here, if I click on this, it will load these up, and now you get your option to boot to whatever you like so if I wanted to boot up to this one uh, I could do so just push this and it will start to load and this will give me uh, access to the MS Dart feature and tools that it has there it's uh, pretty easy to do and uh, it's essential if you're a PC repair tech. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or problems with your computers or anything like that, you can always head over to the forums and post on there. Maybe you've got a piece of software you'd like me to do a review on. Post it up over there and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you anything, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.